Uh, so Sam's a uh, uh, medium small forward uh, from uh, Box Hill. Um, he really gives great forward pressure and uh, he's got good speed and agility and um, yeah, buzzes around the forward line. So looking forward to having you at the club. So 20 years of age, um, Box Hill's uh, leadership group. Um, uh, you've got great leadership skills. And um, you tell us about what you've had on your plate this year with, um, with football and other commitments. Yeah, um, I've had a lot on. So obviously I've been out of school for a few years now. Um, so I've been juggling uni full time, um, as well as three part time jobs um, whilst playing at Box Hill. So a lot going on, but um, I like to be busy. But it's good now just to have the opportunity to put all my time and effort into into footy, um, to try and build up my body and um, and everything, all my attributes, and, and really, really give it a crack. Yeah. Now you're inducted into the leadership group young as a 20 year old at Box Hill. Um, what, what attributes do you think you have that got you selected for that group? Yeah, so oh, I'm big on just setting standards. So I think that's something that my teammates at Box Hill really, really noticed and um, gained a lot of respect from that. So, um, and I also think setting um, or a good culture at a football club is really important as well. So just doing the right things on and off the field um, and using my footy knowledge as well, just to, to spread it amongst the group, um, make sure everyone's on the right page. Very good. Have some questions. Did you have much to do with the, the Hawthorne guys while you're at Fox Hill, or was it pretty separate? Yeah, no, we had a good connection um, with Hawthorne, so um, we have a lot of staff coaches who would work at both Box Hill and Hawthorne, so got to use um, or feed off them, and um, obviously they come down and, and train with us the, on the last training session before a game, so getting to you know train with those guys as much as possible, did a little bit of pre-season training with them um, on a couple of days over the last couple of years as well, so it's been a great experience, and just to sort of know what it's what it sort of takes to to be at that level. Are there, are there any small forwards that you in the AFL that you sort of study or base yourself on in there that you think you're similar to? Maybe? Oh, look, I don't uh, sort of base myself on anyone or compare myself to them. Um, there's many who I look at and try and learn from them and look at what they do on the field. Um, you know, you look at Adelaide and Richmond. Um, making the finals going far, which they built themselves off forward pressure. Um, and obviously here at Freo with, with Michael Walters and Ballantyne and now Matera down here, which is which is fantastic. And I'll be trying to learn off those guys as much as possible uh, and try and build my game off them. Fellas last to get under the skin of a few opponents. Do you play your football like that or not? Is that something you might need to learn from? from oh, that? oh, look, um, I'm a pretty honest sort of footballer. Um, but I mean, it's a part of the game now, so... Um, I'll certainly be doing everything I can um, for things to go our way, um, but I think the main focus will be just you know focusing on the footy side of things. What were you studying at uni, and were you hope to continue that, or is that going to be just on the back burner at the moment? Yeah, I was doing environmental engineering um, at RMIT back in Melbourne, so I've already done three years of it, which is great. So I've just got one year to go, so I sort of will work through it over the next few weeks with what the plan will be. Um, there's sort of no rush for me to finish it yet, but if I can just knock down a subject every semester or so and get it done, that'll probably be the, the plan. Kowski's a fairly famous business name. You any relation to Ziggy? Yeah, there is a relation. He's my uncle, uh, dad's brother. So yeah, a bit of yeah, relation there. Yep. So uh, what's that? Uh, he's, uh, he had an involvement with football in Australian Pro Essen and with during the supplement and stuff. And did, did you talk to him much during then? Or have you had much? Nah. Did you to avoid it with being no, nah, not really. Well, we've never really spoken about it. Um, we just, you know, all the family um, events. Um, he's a good man, but we just, yeah, we sort of stay away from the footy stuff. And um, I don't really, we never really talk about the, everything at Essendon and any of that. So it's no, yeah, no, no big issue for me. No. Just on the grind, come over and see Trove and Maturator. Are you trying to keep his brain a bit sort of healthy? Yeah, for sure. I'll, um, I haven't had a chat to him yet, but I'll certainly um, have a chat and see what his sort of transition was like and if he's got any tips for me. Um, but I think, yeah, it'll be obviously a bit different to the a lot of our other draftees being a little bit older. Um, but, yeah, I'll certainly have a chat and, and um, work my way around him and see if he's, see if he's got any tips for me. Yeah.